So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you what it looks like when you're sending messages from Google Messages to Google Messages, from Google Messages to iPhone, and also from iPhone to Google Messages. So currently, as you might have heard, there's a war going on between Google and Apple regarding their messaging service. So let's see the current situation and how everything is working as at now. So to send a normal text message, from iPhone to Google Message. So let's send a simple hi. So from the simple hi, that's what you get. You get a normal uh, text message, as you can see. And then from Google Message to iPhone, this is what it's going to look like. So as you can see, from Google Message uh, to iPhone, it's been sent as a normal SMS. There is no uh, using of internet here. And you can see I've been charged by my carrier for that specific SMS. Same goes from here. When you send from iPhone to Google Message, it's going to be sent as a normal text message and you're going to be charged by your carrier for that specific message. Now, also, you'll note that uh, the messages between Google Message and iPhone on your Android phone will appear as a pale blue color and that's opposed to Google message to Google message. So let's send one and see how it looks. Oh, beg your pardon. I sent to back to the iPhone. So let me go back to uh, this one and send a message from Google Message to Google Message. So as you can see, there's a difference between the Google Messages and when you're sending Google Message to iPhone because these messages are actually dark blue. It's a different color from this. And that's how you can tell whether you've sent an actual Google Message or a normal text message. If they're dark blue like this, then you've actually sent a Google Message. Now let's look at emojis. So sending emojis from Google message to another Google message is going to be very simple. Just an emoji send. It's going to be a normal message as you can see, just a normal emoji. Now let's send an emoji from Google message to the iPhone. Okay. So let's go to the iPhone, send an emoji from Google message to iPhone. It's going to be an emoji as well and you're going to be charged as uh, a text message okay so let's try and react to a message onto the iphone with an emoji so this is a message i was sent from from the iphone let's go ahead and react to this and try to react with an emoji it's actually impossible because as you can see there's really no option to uh, respond as an emoji now let's send an emoji from the iPhone to the Android phone using Google Message. So on the iPhone, uh, let's go ahead and send an emoji to the Google Message. And it arrives as a Google Message, as you can see. Uh, I mean, it arrives as a normal emoji, as you can see. So let's try to respond to uh, to a message using an emoji. So let's touch and hold, look for reactions. You can actually react to these messages. So let's go ahead and give a thumbs up, okay? So let's select thumbs up from the iPhone to the Google message. So that was from a previous message. So you can see it's been sent uh, that to high. So it actually defines what exactly that is, okay? And we were reacting to a previous message, as you can see, which is this message right here. And the message comes as its own text message for the moment. Now let's send uh, stickers or GIFs or react using GIFs or GIFs, whatever you call them. So from Google message to Google message, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Just look for a GIF. Let's go back to, let's go back to the Google message conversation and look for a GIF. Uh, let's send this one. Okay, we are clapping. It's going to load up there. 
and send okay so as you can see the gif has been well received as a normal gif so let's go ahead and do the same for google message to iphone okay so let's go back to the iphone conversation let's try and send a gif same gif okay then hit as you can see it's going to be sent as an sms because it already detected that person you're chatting with does not have google messages it charges me as you can see but then on the iphone it sends as a link so if you want to see that particular gif you have to click on that link and it's gonna open in its own page on your default browser <laughs> so so that's how gifs are treated from the google message phone to the iphone so let's send one from the iphone back to the the google message phone now clearly as you can see we really don't have uh, much option we don't have the option for gifs uh, when you're chatting from uh, iphone to an android phone using google message okay so the only thing we can send is emojis back and forth uh, like that and it seems to be taking time to get to my phone so let's try with another normal emoji so this one came and so you'll notice some some of the iPhone emojis will straight up just refuse to come to Google messages now lastly let's look at files and by files we're trying to send um, images uh, documents stuff like that from either Google message to Google message or Google message to iPhone so let's start with Google message to Google message so let's go ahead and send uh, a photo let's go into the gallery uh, find a photo and send okay Beg your pardon that's that's going to be to here so let's let's go back to the other google message which is this one and let's try and send an image okay so once again the message is sending and is now sent and this is a this is a big file it's almost uh more than 2 mb and it's been sent via google message no carrier charges made it's been sent over the internet okay to this phone for free and by free, I mean using your internet. So that was simple, Google message to Google message. Let's try sending the same image from Google message to iPhone, okay? So same image, let me go to the iPhone conversation uh, with my boss. And let's try and send my boss that image. So as you can see, it's going to be sent as an SMS already. So let's see what happens. Again, Google message uh, sent it as a text message, actually two text messages. As you can see, I've been charged twice. And basically what has happened is Google message uploads the image into some kind of cloud and then sends the link to the recipient. So all the recipient has to do is click on that link and they're going to see what I was trying to say or what I was trying to send them. Okay. The same goes for any other file. But of course, it has restrictions for the file size limit. All right, let's try and send an image from your iPhone to the Android phone with Google Message. So normally you'd come to the camera icon, uh, tap on images, select an image, and then hit send. And wait. And wait and it seems like the message will not come so let's try and just look at the details of that so there's nothing really showing here on the Google messages phone let's try and send an emoji just to see if uh, it's network issues or So the emoji came and the image refused to come so that's 
that's basically where we are at in terms of uh, messaging between Google Messages and iPhone. Okay, so Google Message to Google Message and Google Message to iPhone and vice versa. So, yeah, that's where we're at. It's not uh, as intuitive as we'd want it to be. It's not the 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 connection and cross-platform uh, compatibility between the two is not exactly uh, usable at the moment. But uh, let me know what you feel about this in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and good luck.